All right, everybody. All right, everybody, right along Mike here. So last week I went to Carpinteria, California for a bike ride with the cycling club. This weekend I'm going to the Los Angeles Chinatown Firecracker bike ride. Um, and so I'm gonna show you what I usually pack in a bag to take with me to a uh, bike ride where I, I have to drive to the start point. So to start, um, we have our Cycling shorts here. This one's from Trek Segafredo. Another pair of cycling shorts. So I always bring a uh, primary and a backup, just in case something last minute fails on the on the one that I'm that I plan to wear. I have one that I have an alternate that I can go to. So this one's from the Squeaky Wheel Bike Shop. It's a local bike shop in Palmdale. Um, I support the local businesses here. So if you're ever up in the Antelope Valley, that, that is like Palmdale, Lancaster, Mojave, Tatchby, uh, stop on, be sure to stop on by the Squeaky Wheel Bike Shop. Real friendly place, uh, real friendly staff. Owner's name is Bob, wife's name is Shiloh. They have a baby uh, toddler girl now, Claire. Uh, so if they're ever in the shop, be sure to say hello to them. Uh, here's their jersey. This one, this one in particular is their long sleeve road jersey. They have a short sleeve road jersey and then short and long sleeve mountain jerseys. Uh, again, a uh, local bike shop. Stop by there and to tell them that Ride right Along Mike, aka Scratch, sent you. Uh, here's a secondary backup jersey uh, from Trek Segafredo, short sleeve. Uh, actually, it's last year's red racing jersey. So, uh, because it's still winter, I've got the extra long uh, uh, underwear here. Here's a long sleeve base layer. Now this one's unique because it's the, I believe the base, the B2 base layer. It's made partially out of wool and partially out of uh, nylon and it's supposed to keep you warm down to about the uh, 50 degree range, uh, 50 degree F temperature range. So really good for California. This is the short sleeve version of that. It's uh, all wool. This one here, it's all wool, and I believe it's also the Bontrager uh, B2 short sleeve. Uh, and just as a uh, uh, backup, in case uh, those two aren't, those two previous ones aren't warm enough, here's an Under Armour one. Uh, some arm warmers that go with the uh, Trek Segafredo jersey. Again, this is last year's. Uh, they've changed a uh, clothing maker since then. Uh, Pair of Adidas shorts. These are actually a uh, pair of Adidas socks. Sorry, these are actually uh, tennis socks, but they work just as well for cycling. Now, I didn't know these existed until I went to uh, the Squeaky Wheel, and these are actually over socks. So what you do is you what you do is you uh, wear your regular socks, and then you put these on over it. Now it's very it's very convenient compared to they also have an overshoe uh, which uh, works just as well as all wool this one I think is all is all uh, not is some material besides wool but um, the overshoe is much more difficult to put to take on uh, to take on and off so I much prefer these they these work just as well um, in the cold temps I and like the others they probably work down to about the uh, 50 degree range um, if you're looking at a 30 degree below or if you're in the Midwest then I'd probably go with the over uh, the overshoe because that that is made up like I said made out of, out of all wool and probably keeps your it can keep your uh, feet uh, warmer down to a lower temperature uh, base layers from Nike Pro Combat you can find that at Dick's Sporting Goods um, and then here we have, uh, I only know it by the Russian term, it's called a, a balaclava. Um, it's basically like a ski, uh, a really thin but warm ski mask. Um, I usually wear it just to protect my neck, but if it comes down to it, if it's cold enough, I will uh, wear it over my head, just like a regular ski mask. Okay, so that's the warm that's the warm gear, and like I said, uh, for the summer we'd probably end up you'd probably end up looking at an all short sleeve uh, layout here. 
Okay, so for two helmets, I also bring two helmets again, one as a primary, one as a backup. So they're both these both are the Bontrager Ballistas. This one is in the Trek Segafredo racing colors. Um really aerodynamic helmet, really lightweight and just overall really good. And this one's just the uh all black version of that as well. So for the Chinese New Year's ride, I know in the Chinese culture, uh, white color is uh, considered the color of death, or it's usually used at funerals, so if it comes down to it, I might wear it, um, but uh, black is supposedly the color, the color of water, it's a neutral color, so I might lean towards that. Um, red in the Chinese culture is, is uh, good luck, so is the color of good luck, so if you're ever thinking about what to wear and you're kind of superstitious, I'd wear white, black, or you can go on the internet and look up whatever colors are lucky for this year. And then obviously uh, the shoes, these I these are just the standard road shoes off the, uh, I believe these are the circuit road shoes, but I'm not a hundred and I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. So that's about it in terms of the clothing that what that I would bring to uh, to a bike ride for post ride uh, since again since it's winter time sweatpants if it gets real if it's real cold enough then some thermal underwear these are some uh, slacks in case I end up going out and then some kind of sh uh, and then for post ride some kind of shirt this is the uh, Trex Segafredo shirt. You can find it on the website. Um, for for sporting the brand after after the ride. Um, yep, that's about it from here. All this stuff's gonna go into the bag, and then we'll see you for a ride along video from LA Chinatown. I think this year we're headed into Pasadena, so you'll just get a few brief glimpses of uh, Chinatown itself, but uh, Pasadena should be just as scenic. Alright, that's all for me. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, uh, and uh, I might open the video up for comments in case you have questions or concerns. Post them there in the comment section. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, and I forgot, oh, and I forgot to mention the gloves. These are the uh, Bontrager uh, I believe these are the circuit road gloves, full, uh, full finger, full length finger gloves. So, um, really good for the winter time. I've worn these in 30 degree weather, 40 degree weather, and it works just as well, um, as up in the standard range, like 50 to, uh, 50 to 70 degrees. So, um, as you can see, the first three fingers have the traction grip because they figure that those are the three fingers that you use the most to hold on to anything. And that's really all you need. Um, these lips here are pretty cool because uh, um, they fit into your sleeve so it, it uh, minimizes air, uh, cold air coming up your sleeve and freezing you to death.